Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, Pray for us. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass by acknowledging our sins and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Tobit. Grief stricken in spirit, I, Tobit, groaned and wept aloud. Then with sobs I began to pray. You are righteous, O Lord, and all your deeds are just. All your ways are mercy and truth. You are the judge of the world. And now, O Lord, may you be mindful of me and look forward with favor upon me. Punish me not for my sins, nor for my inadvertent offenses, nor for those of my ancestors. We sinned against you and disobeyed your commandments, so you handed us over to plundering exile, and death, till you made us the talk and reproach of all the nations among whom you had dispersed us. Yes, your judgment are many and true in dealing with me as my sins, and those of my ancestors deserve, for we have not kept your commandments nor have we trodden the paths of truth before you. So now, deal with me as you please, and command my life breath to be taken from me, that I may go from the face of the earth into dust. It is better for me to die than to live, because I have heard insulting calumnies, and I am overwhelmed with grief. Lord, command me to be delivered from such anguish. Let me go to the everlasting abode. Lord, refuse me not, for it is better me to die, for me to die than to endure so much misery in life and to hear these insults. On the same day at Ekbatana in Media, it is so happened that Ragel's daughter, Sarah, also had to listen to abuse from one of her father's maids. For she had been married to seven husbands, but the wicked demon, Asmodeus, killed them off before they could have intercourse with her, as it is prescribed for wives. So the maid said, said to her, You are the one who strangles your husbands. Look at you. You have already been married seven times, but you have, you have had no joy with any one of your husbands. Why do you beat us? It is on account of your seven husbands, because they are dead? May we never see a son or daughters of yours. The girl was deeply saddened that day, and she went into an upper chamber of her house, where she planned to hang herself. But she reconsidered, saying to herself, No, 
people would level this insult against my father. You had only one beloved daughter, but she hung herself because of ill fortune. And thus would I cause my father his old age to go down to the netherworld laden with sorrow. It is far better for me not to hang myself, but to beg the Lord to have me die, so that I need no longer live to hear such insults. At that time then, she spread out her hands and facing the window, poured out her prayer. Blessed are you, O Lord, merciful God, and blessed is your holy and honorable name. Blessed are you in all your works forever. At that very time, the prayer of these two suppliants was heard in the glorious presence of Almighty God. So Raphael was sent to heal them both to remove the cataracts from Tobit's eyes so that he might again see God's sunlight and to marry Ragel's daughter Sarah to Tobit's son Tobiah and then drive the wicked demon Asmodeus from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. In you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. No one who waits for you shall be put to shame. Those shall be put to shame who heedlessly break faith. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman and died, leaving no descendants. So the second brother married her and died, leaving no descendants and the third likewise, and the seven left no descendants. 
Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife shall she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passage about the bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are greatly misled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we could easily relate to the prayers of Tobit and Sarah that we heard in our first reading today. Both Tobit and Sarah were in a desperate and miserable condition. Tobit because of an illness and Sarah because she had married seven husbands and they all died even before consummating the marriage. They were in so miserable and desperate condition that both of them praying on the same day ask God to take their life in order to put an end to their misery. Hiniling nila sa Diyos na kunin na lang sila, mamatay na lang sila para matapos na ang kanilang paghihirap. During this time of pandemic, we have heard the story of Tobit and Sarah many times. I have heard it personally from people who are sick, from people who are experiencing so much suffering in life. Maybe one of us is also a Tobit, is also a Sarah, we also pray to God, put an end to our suffering. May mga tao na sa sobrang hirap ng pinagdaraanan, hinihiling na lang nila sa Diyos, kunin mo na ako, Panginoon, nang matapos na ang lahat ng ito. May mga pamilya na habang nakikita nilang naghihirap dahil sa karamdaman ang kanilang mahal sa buhay, Bagamat mabigat sa kanilang kalooban, sinasabi nila, Lord, kunin mo na lang siya nang matapos na ang kanyang paghihirap. Tobit and Sarah are still very much present in our times, in our situation today. How did God respond to the prayer of Tobit and Sarah. God responded to their prayers by sending Raphael in order to heal them both. Raphael healed Tobit of his illness and Raphael healed the pain the desperation being felt by Sarah. That there is a God who hears and grants our prayers is a proof that
that God is alive. The there is a God who listens and grants our prayers is a proof that our God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And because He is the God of the living, He does not want us dead. He will always give us life. Whether life in this world or life everlasting, God will always give us life because He is the God of life. And this is the issue raised to Jesus by the Sadducees in our Gospel today. The Sadducees do not believe in the resurrection, in the life after death, and so they were trying to trick Jesus into a question and Jesus, seeing their motive, was able to explain to them that their belief that there is no resurrection from the dead is wrong. That God is indeed the God of life and not of the dead. For if God is dead, why would we pray to Him? If God is the God of the dead, why would we even worship Him? Makakapakrinig ba? Makakarinig ba ang isang Diyos na patay? Makapagbibigay ba ng biyaya ang isang Diyos na hindi naman nabubuhay? ang ating Diyos ay buhay. Kaya naririnig niya ang ating panalangin. Kaya ipinagkakalob niya ang ating hiling. Kaya binibigyan niya tayo ng buhay. Kaya ibinubuhos niya ang lahat ng pangangailangan natin at lahat ng makabubuti sa atin. Dahil siya ay Diyos ng mga buhay. At ang nais niya para sa ating lahat ay buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, God is not God of the dead, but of the living. He listens to our prayers. He grants our prayers. He gives us life. And He assures us that there is something more, something better that awaits those who trust and believe in Him. Please all stand. How glorious is the peace and hope of resurrection. Let us pray with hearts set free from foolish doubt or hesitation because we believe in the promise of the one who rose again to eternal splendor. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continually preach the good news of the resurrection and the life to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in our daily lives, we may bring the light of hope in those who live in darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christians everywhere may not, may not be people of legalisms and outward observances, but people with a heart who do what they have to do because they are God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick and those who suffer may discover the healing presence of Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the dead 
and for those who mourn their loss. May the resurrection of Jesus Christ bring them hope and comfort in their grief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of the living, to whom all are in fact alive, grant the petitions we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, you, that should you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may marry to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our Wednesday evening healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 o'clock. Our host this evening will be the parish of the Most Holy Trinity in Balik Balik, Sampaloc, Manila. And we will pray the Holy Rosary before the image of Our Lady of the Blessed Trinity. And so let us gather this evening at 9 o'clock and join us in our Facebook page in praying the rosary, asking the Blessed Virgin Mary to intercede for us to Jesus for healing, for our healing, and for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Faithfully yours until the end to you.
your mission, Lord. We give our yes.